Hey guys, this is Alexander the Gamer here, and I am playing some EU4, so you're in Europa Universalis 4. Uh, so, if any of you watched my other Europa Universalis videos, you know that my only current Let's Play is a French Let's Play, but, uh, let's just say a few things happened. Um, let's just, I'll just show you from here. So I had the smart idea to, like, declare war in Spain or Austria, I think it was Austria declared war on. And let's just say I didn't go so well. Yeah. Um. So it's not going so well, and I'm finding myself a little hard to motivate my motivate myself to uh, play this. Um. All right, and uh, and I gone really away from it. I was playing some Rome 2, some Attila, and uh, lots of Sid Myers, which is really great a game. And I decided to get myself back into Let's Play. Um, I probably didn't need to go back like that. Um, so I am going, this, uh, let's play is going to be called the Shan Shah per of Persia, right? I, I pretty much combined two, um, missions. One, I have to play as Tabristan and form Persia. I, I can't show you what Persia has, but most of you know what Persia is. It's kind of like in here. So, Timurids, who are Sunni, by the way. And then Kara, which is Shia, so I'm Shia, which really sucks, because Shia, and I'm only two problems big, Shia is the definite minority here, like, this is Shia, but most of the Timurids is Shia, so they might get converted, maybe, that'd be awesome. Um, there's just not very much Shia. Uh, I, I'd probably be very hard-pressed to get the Ottomans as an ally, but if I could, that'd be amazing. Um, the second achievement is as Persia to pretty much go like this just own all the things in this area so pretty much go from Greece to the end of your t t uh, Persian cores I'm pretty sure you have to take Saudi Arabia and you have to take uh, Egypt uh, do I think this will work? I don't know we'll see uh, Shah and Shah Pure Shia. There you go. Okay. Get two achievements. Which is great. It's awesome. I have four regiments to start with. I have two extra force limit. Two naval force can I even can you build ships? Um, I change this up a little bit. Uh, my configuration. We're not too worried about the trade goods in this. I was doing another let's play where the trade goods were important. Do we want to go with diplomat? No, we want opinion map mode. We don't want that. Oh great, the Timrids don't like us. Why? Neighboring heretic religion. Oh. Great, uh, Ottomans, they're negative 20 heretic religion. Karako and Lu. They have a cost spell and they want my two provinces. I could get like. Jeez. Oh, um. Who can I. Like, Bath, Bamanis. Maybe. Same religion, you're Shia? Surprising. But I mean, Baluchistan, no, they hate me. I like to convert very much, but... Uh, no. I'm not allowed to convert. So do I have Persian cores? Yes, I do. I, both my problems are Persian cores. Persian cores. Why do you have to hate me so much? Um, relations. I'll just improve relations with them. See if that helps any. If I can get them as an ally, that'll be a big boon for a while until the Ottomans come. Actually, what's your cost's belly against me? 
Tribal. Oh, you're a horde. Shoot, that's it. Okay. I could find the Mughal Na Empire. Changed to Indian. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we're gonna save people in, in Goldstein. Goldstein. That seems like a realistic goal. Um, yeah, none of these goals are even possible. So, whatever. We have a little bit of income. Sure, strength, natural, and rest. Both those are useless to me right now. Morale of armies. Let's see. Only one I think I'm gonna find use for. Um. Actually, let's check the trade. I have a merchant here in Barca, which is pushing trade north. Samarkand. I'm not in my range. Fun. So you're just gonna sit in the capital and you're gonna collect. Give me a little bit of a buff to income. Um, I need to set right. I have no possible rivals. Wow. If I had this province in a boarded sheer van, I could probably do something. Could I even get military access from you? No. Hey, you don't know. I'll fabricate a claim on, fabricate a claim on these guys. Dagestan. I could declare war against Persia any day, right? I have no diplomats to send. Huh. Yeah, they're allied with Nogi and Kazan. I don't know why everyone wants my promises. They both produce silk. And I have a 7 and a 3. Or se yeah, 7 and a 4, sorry. One's an important center of trade. Jeez, my promises are so desirable. No wonder people want me. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But nobody wants to ally me. I was like, yeah, you're a heretic. Different. You're different. I mean, bomb on us. Jan, poor. Marissa, bomb on us. A distance would be a problem. Gujarat has falling vessels. They want an alliance more, but not nearly enough. How's there? Time. They just need to go to war with somebody. That's what needs to happen. Armies. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that, Simmerts aren't on the top. It's insane. Oh. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna go crazy. Baluchistan, Molten, Delhi, Kashmir, uh, Ladakh, Sindh, all the things. Yarkand, Uzbek, maybe. Hopefully not Tabard. I thought I'd be able to ally. Oh. Yeah, a hostile out of time attitude towards me. Why are you hostile? The same religion. Don't want my provinces. Man. Being desired really sucks. I can tell you that right now. Everyone wants my lands and nobody wants to be friends. So this is going to be a very difficult game. Actually, a lot of um, pretty much just sitting here and waiting.
Okay. Mm Who is? They have no allies, and they're at war with Ak, Carmen, and Ramazon. Ak. Um. Ramazon. Carmen. I have a feeling they're gonna win. Quite an easy victory. Just get rid of that minus 100 hostile to me. That's not nice. From one battle. Oh, jeez, they're gonna win so easily. Hmm. A four three one now. Uh -huh. That makes things a little better. Uh dum they're winning the war so quickly. But they're hostile to me, so Will they at least grant me military access now? <sighs> nope, because they're hostile. But if I could, I could go and expand and take five base tax. Shirvan and then get me up here to Gazmuk. And then maybe in Circassia and Georgia. You know, that kind of stuff. You know, insane plans like that work all the time, right? Um... This is actually pretty boring. And I can't rival people, because there's no possible rivals. It's kind of surprising, I should be able to rival Shearvan. Merchant defects, gain mercantilism. I'll take this, because I don't want to lose power in my... I don't want to lose 10 power in my home node. What is this? Um, what do I want? What do I want more? Do I want fort defense, morale of armies, and missionary strength, tax, national manpower? Uh, we want to be unpious. Uh, let's see why they're not. D oh, just they control the war. <laughs> okay, the Ottomans just announced them as a rival. Armenian and Coptic. Of course, she is there. Natural environment, you know? Natural religion. And stop being hostile towards me. Royal marriage? No, because you're hostile, right? Your rivals are Golden Horde, Georgia, and Mamluks. I thought that was Muscovy for a moment. No, George is doable. The Mamluks, so so, and the Golden Horde. Mm. But your enemies are the Mamluks and the Ottomans. The Ottomans, absolutely gonna destroy you so quickly that it's not even gonna be funny. But I mean, riches of India. Oh, interesting. Um, point is, we just have to sit here. And Kara likes us, but they're just hostile. Macuria. Perhaps Kara will eventually accept alliance and stop being hostile towards us. Probably not. They'll probably have to lose their border with us to actually not be hostile. So they desire our capital, and it's only minus three relations, and they're hostile. Yay. I mean, because we're hostile with Korra, with QQ, I can't get... Where doth it be? Uh, military access. They're all with Golden Horde and Uzbek. 
that because of no boy? Yes. Dead on. Timurids have 43,000 men. Nice. But here's the thing, if I pay for rebels to pop up... They'll pop up as Persians. So perhaps forcing Kiva out. Or Corson. Corson. Uh, Corsani Nationalists. 11 duckers. We have 2.51. Hmm. Does make things slightly worse. Golden Hordes are worth no guy, Crimea, Timurids, Kazan, Circassia, and Terabazoid. Nice. Korra. Destroying... I'll take 15% stability. Or not stability, but uh, autonomy. Apparently I chose a bad choice. I didn't realize that Korra would not ally me. Didn't realize that they would desire my promises from day one. They are a step forward, so they'll implode eventually. And when they do, we will be there. Kazmuk, Georgia, no. Circassia, no guy, no. Uzbek, no. Kazan, no. Cause they're all like, we're not your religion. Because, of course. Taberstan could only get harder by being made into Shia. I wonder how much war score we could get against the Timurids. Also fighting Kazana, no guy. This is probably going to be the slowest game I have ever played. They get aboard the Ottomans, the Ottomans declare war against them. I declare war against Kara. QQ. Because I need land and I have forced them to give me some provinces. To form the Persian nation, I need Tabriz. What the heck is Tabriz? Oh, there it is. Their capital. I will need their capital. Uh, Saverstein. Saverstein. Where are you, Saverstein? Saverstein. Mm-hmm. I'm not seeing Saverstein. They don't know. Hmm. Um. Hamadon. I also need. Ishvan, Kazvin, and Yezid. And I become Persian. The only other problem with being Muslim. That costs more. 826 points. It's insane. So costly in comparison. 
And there's nothing I can do here. Uh, no goy is going to win this war. Easy. Yeah, I hope you get a rebel rebellion. And if I if they re if they have a rebellion and it wins, that means I could pop in and take a little bit of land. Which would be which would be nice. That would definitely be very nice getting some land, especially if it's only three provinces. Whatever that's now I'm at eight or seven or five province. Um Granted, I don't know how much difference that'd be. They'd definitely give me the ability to declare rivals, I'm sure. It would have to. Like, Georgia, at least. Come on. From the lines with Clara, Colin, Lou. That's not possible. It is impossible to do that. Game, don't tell me to form an alliance with somebody. And just be like, it didn't change their opinion. It didn't give us more relations with them. So we're just going to cancel, cancel your their mission. Give us a mission we can actually complete. That it's possible to complete. Oh, they're at war Chagatai now. Korra declared war. Oh, they just vassalized them. I like going to Terabazoid. They're probably going to vassalize that too. Ottomans! Attack Korra the moment you get a border. And like, destroy them so I can attack them in the rear. Nah, I could actually take some land. I could take... Ardabel, Ardabil. I'd also have, I would also want to. I couldn't kick out Persia because I want to form Persia. Botan. I could kick out Botan or Armenia or something. Force them to release QQ. There's so few nations in here that can actually be released. Besides, like flipping Persia, who I don't want to release because I need to be Persia. I need to be them. But taking this one province would be huge. It'd make me go up to a three. It'd bring me up to uh, 13 base stacks. Give me dies, which is a valuable trade resource. And give me the ability to attack Shirvan, who also has no allies. Give me silk and fish. Another five. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Ah, doo -doo -doo -doo, which would be uh, 16 base stacks, three silk, a fish, and a dies provinces, which would then allow me to go to war with Gazmuk. Who's allied with Crimea? I don't know. So that might encourage the Golden Horde to come and attack me. If I control Gazmok. So maybe Shiravan and then Georgia gets beat up in a war and I take some of them. Terrible in Georgia. QQ. QQ is 24,000. Yeah. yeah, please. I wish. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, I was expecting the ability to ally QQ right away. And then declare war on Timurids fairly quickly. Or at least I'm not being hostile, so we could, like, come up here in Shirvan and Gazmuk and Georgia and stuff. But, no. But they're getting cocky. They're gonna take Terabazoid. Take it. Actually, physically take it. And the Ottomans will be like, no, no, that is unacceptable. And they'll be like, oh, we have a core on that. Uh, okay, so uh, I lose 25 prestige, and I gain 20 piety, or I gain 10 prestige and lose 10 piety. Kind of hard to improve our prestige. Gold ton. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. what is this? Kohar. Corsani nationalists. 
Maybe my guys will fire too. I don't even know who I'm supporting. Um, our Dalian nationalists. It's Kiva. Are these Ardalian nationalists? Who is this? What kind of rebels are down here? I don't know. Oh, these are Persian nationalists. Oh, and Corsani nationalists. Um, Millennial nationalists. I guess. Fine with me. I'm still trying to find the provinces where we. Oh! Afghanistan. Found Afghanistan. Mughals. More Afghanistan. They have a lot of Afghanistan provinces. Um. Where are the people that I am supporting rebels against? You should be able to just click somewhere and it will take you directly to them. But I bet you they don't have enough guys. They have... Ho 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 ho. Yarkand is a new addition. Yarkand, Nogoy, and Kazan. But... Rebels. Lots and lots of rebels. Oh, they could throw away that stack there, their army there. 13,000 men. Cause I, guarantee, I guarantee you, 11,000 men uh, in the mountains, defending, will do tremendous damage to 12k guys attacking into the mountains. And, yeah, Persian National. So Persia's gonna form. A fairly big Persia at that. Yeah, the Timurids are down to no manpower. So if I declare a war, who will join against me? Oh, no guy and Yarkand. No guys at war with Goldhorn, Circassia, and Yarkand's just sitting here. Okay, but Yarkand's not the problem. No guy. Right here. Golden Horde and Sarcasia. Okay. Sarcasia is a vassal of the Golden Horde. Okay. Oh, no guy just pieced out. Cool. Um, told us take Persian. Okay, we need to fabricate a claim on uh, Quas Quasivin. Okay, and we're gonna pause and we're just gonna wait for that to fire and then yes I thought the rebels did tremendous damage to them oh the second stack appeared though and they just wiped out the rebels and now they're gonna read down siege this considering it only has 300 garrison um Timurids though only have 28 32,000 men 9 mercenary units 647 manpower Uh, there should be a sieging more stuff. But this is an early implosion of the Timrid lands. Like, really early. Normally it doesn't happen until much later. Now the problem is... Timrid stacks. Could pop up. And destroy me. But they keep getting smaller. Their manpower is slightly recovering, though. But 
it's also their allies, no guy. Well, not Kazan, but no guy. How's it still taking that long? And the Golden Horn got beat up. Hmm. Gain 10 prestige, lose a stability, lose ducats. I wish we could fabricate more than one claim at a time. Hmm. So, rebels in QQ as well. I'm guessing these are the Persian nationalists across the border. So let's see if we can find any other provinces under siege. The main Timurid army is down there. Unseaging things. It appears the rebel uprising wasn't quite as destructive to them as I was expecting. And I probably missed my only opportunity of doing anything to them. There's so many guys coming down to attack me. Why are you hostile? Everyone needs to declare war on the Timurids. Destroy them. Only hope. Though the Timurids are willing to trust us somewhat. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Um. Yeah. Okay, let's take a stab at it. You have to try. Right. It'd be great if none of their allies joined, too. Nope, they're all coming in. Ah. Just missed them. Okay, we're doing this. If we can't win this war. We're not winning at it. We're not gonna change anything anytime soon. Let's be honest here. Oh, I didn't get up. Blooming leader. You gotta go back. So the Timurids have a whopping... How do they have 10,000 manpower already? They were sitting at zero. I don't know how they got 10,000 manpower. Out of the blue. But apparently they did. And it'd be nice if more rebels spawned. More rebels. Come on guys, more rebels. Nobody think it prudent to come and attack me. Okay. Oh. Of course, they got a Regency Council during war. Oh, great. No guy is coming to. No guy would like to party. And they stack wiped me. Yeah, I still have 6% war score. <laughs> and I now have to rebuild my entire army. Well, okay, so, um, I'm clearly not good enough to do ta uh, the Shah and Shah and Shah Persia. So, uh, see you guys next time. This is going to be the end of this series. This is going to be a one-episode series. Beginner and an ender and all in one. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, see you guys next time. It's Alexander get What? Wait.
How do we have magically so much mana left? I'm gonna ask. Okay, that's the end of the episode. See you guys next time. Oh.